find out who is an F boy and who is not. I'm ready. Do you think that you made the right choice? Yes. Perhaps. Hi, my name is Jasmine, and today I'm here to date 10 guys, but amongst them are several F-boys. The F-boys were determined by the relationship readiness quiz in the Nectar app. I'm here to find a date for myself while avoiding the F-boys. I think that I have trouble picking the right guy because I am very attracted to the chase. So if somebody's giving me everything that I want, it's almost not enough drama for me, so I go for the F-boys. Are you trying to change that for future relationships? Yes, definitely. <laughs> Well, hello there. Hi. <laughs> I'm Javian. Nice to meet nice you, Nice to meet you. Jasmine. Yes. Okay, okay, Jasmine. I like your chain. I like the heart chain. Thank I'm you like so much. I'm big on pendant, so that's like the first I thing I know. It's beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Of course. Hope to talk soon. <laughs> how you doing? Hi, good. How are you? Good. My name is John. John, nice to meet you, John. Very beautiful. He's very beautiful. Yeah. Well, nice I can't wait to chat it up with you, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Andy. Andy? Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I like, I like your docs. Thank you, know, you so much. They're, they're knockoffs, but... I heard that F-boys never wear docs, so... Is, know, they say that? Yeah, that's, that's what they say. Hi. I'm Mateo. Mateo? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Jasmine. I love your knockoff docs. That's the first thing I noticed. <laughs> Thank you so <laughs> yeah. much. Jasmine. Jasmine, it's really nice to meet you. I really like your fit. It's really Thank, nice. Thank you, you so much. You take pictures sometimes. It's really nice. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Teron. Jasmine, I really like your eyebrows. Do you do them yourself? I, I do. That's good. Maybe you can help me with mine too. I think yours look great. I don't think you need my help. Oh, that's perfect. What's happening? My Hi. name is AJ. AJ, nice to meet you. I like your eyes. Thank you so much. I like your socks too. Oh, thanks. Hey. Hi. I'm Jake. Nice to meet you, Jake. Jasmine. You look good. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how you doing? Good, how are you? My name's Kenny. Kenny, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. The vibe is immaculate. Oh, thank you so much. Um, yeah. I had to save the best for last. I oh, wow. Hug. I'm John. Nice to meet nice you, Nice to meet you. I like your outfit. Thank you so you much. You look very sweet and well put together. Thank I hope you. to talk to you. Yeah. The hug caught me off guard. He was so bold. You got a lot of confidence. I know. I'm feeling so. My ego's inflated a little bit. <laughs> okay. Oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> um, UC San Diego. I'm sorry. It was nice to meet you. Yeah, you I'm too. I'm so sorry. No, that's all right. Um, gosh. I'm sorry. It's all G. It was so nice to meet you. Oh, Neither of them really brought the energy for me. I feel so bad, though. It was only like 10 seconds. I have to do it? I've never done that before. I don't know. You know, we'll learn. We'll, we'll learn. <laughs> like this, right? There. You might know. <laughs> yeah. All right, there we go. Oh, oh my shit. God. <laughs> oh, Did you break it? Yeah, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Last shards in the drinks. Cheers. Cheers. What are you looking for in a relationship? Someone to be my other half. Someone to be the other 50% to get me to 100. Feel everything that I'm avoiding or that I don't have to get me to the right level. That's cute. So you want somebody to like build you up? Yeah, and I built them up. What are you looking for in a relationship? I'm looking for somebody that's non-toxic, that has a good relationship with their family. Somebody that I'd have like really good chemistry with because that's what's most important to me. So you think that you're 100% not toxic? I mean, I have things I have to work on, so does everybody else, but I don't think I'm a toxic person overall, so. That's good. Someone to go like run around and be like a menace with. Um, stuff like that. Cool. And like make things with. Make things like what? Children. <laughs> 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 not yet, eventually maybe. Somebody who I can, you know, go on an adventure with every day. Not like a physical one always, always, you know, but more so just like trying something new, doing something new. Somebody that like, we can grow old and be childish together, you know? I, I don't want that to ever grow out of love. I feel like that's something that should always be a spark. Yeah, I always just think about like those like textbook, you know, romances like Jim and Pam, you know, or like Ron and Hermione or like, you know, like Michelle and Barack Obama, like things like that, you know. So like I think like you could be, you could be like my Michelle maybe, like that's kind of what I'm imagining, yeah. I recently bought a tandem bicycle. I don't know if you know okay. what those are. Why did you buy a tandem bicycle? In hopes of being in a relationship um, oh. when I moved out here. Okay. Um, but it just hasn't happened yet. Got it. Yeah. How important is sex in a relationship? It's definitely not first on the list of importance, but it is important. I like to try new things. I also like to 
learn how to please my partner. I feel like that's the most important when it comes to that. I believe that commitment and passion are like more important than that, but I think that can be implemented in sex. But I think for me, it's like intimate sex. Like I really want to have like intimate sex with like that partner. Okay. I don't think it's the most important at all, but I do feel like there's some importance. Something that somebody brings to you that's different from everybody else that you can get sex from is way more important than just sex. So I feel like when you guys build together, like intimacy physically, emotionally, like there's a, a plateau that you might hit and sex can help you like overcome that. Well, um, coming from someone that's actually had sex, um, I, uh, yeah. I, think it's, I think it's fairly important. Um, I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome before, right before going on my phone. I think it's <laughs> awesome. I think it's awesome right before a tandem bike ride. Okay. At the moment, I'm not actively looking for a relationship. It's not something that I feel I need to complete me, but I feel like if I do meet the right person that I get along with, it would definitely be something that I was interested in and open to. I would love to hear what everybody else is looking honestly, for. Honestly, honestly, I, I say the same thing. Like, I'm not, I don't go outside every day or whatever and be like, I need to find somebody, I need to look for something, even in like social gatherings or if you go out. It's kind of like something that just comes to you, like, yeah. and I feel like that's important. Like, you'll feel it, like, yeah. energy-wise, you know? Yeah. I wouldn't say I'm looking for anything either. Like, I mean, sure, I'm on Tinder, Grindr, Bumble, <laughs> all those. But, I mean, like, it's just, like, casual, you, just you know? Yourself, like, it's bro. just, like, it's, it's, it's not, like, anything serious, you know? You're on all of the apps? Um, what I, what I say Hinge. What else did I say? Um, you say Grindr. Bumble, Bumble. Yeah. Grindr. Christian Meeple. Um, none of that can really compare to, like, meeting someone in person and really, like, getting a vibe like, like we have right now, so, yeah. I agree with that. I think getting to know someone in person and kind of just like feeling it out. I lie a lot, so someone who can like what? <laughs> someone who's all right you with lie me. A lot? I don't lie about serious things, but like just about the you know in between the lines, maybe a little lying. So you're deceitful? No. Okay. Was that a lie though? <laughs> lie a lot. Yeah. I just have no expectations. I think when it comes to looking for a partner, I don't really look mm -hmm. for a partner. Yeah, 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 keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> typing you up, you're typing I'm, you up. I'm, I'm yeah. spinning right now. <laughs> we go with the flow, and if it leads to a direction of a relationship, I am more than open to it. If anything, like, sometimes people develop the mentality of, like, expect disappointment, and you won't get disappointed, you know? But, um, like, in the meantime, when you're, like, I'm not, like, actively looking out there, just working on being, like, a better person yourself, but at the end of the day, like, you know, uh, everybody needs, like, that support just to grow and whatnot, so. I mean, yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm at. I got a question. What are some red flags that you're just like, that's a deal breaker for me? Um, is lying one of them? What, yeah, what are I you hate, doing? I hate lying. Leading the witness, leading the witness. I, th I think lying <laughs> is a big red flag. I think people that are unnecessarily like rude to others, like I hate somebody that's rude to a service worker. Somebody that is not like openly sharing their emotion is a big red flag for me. Somebody that just can't talk things through because obviously that becomes an issue. Do you think it's bad when a man shows too much emotion? No, I don't think so. I think it's fine to, I think it's important to show your emotions mm -hmm. to process them. So I think there is not really a such thing as too much emotion. Do you guys find emotional or physical intimacy easier? I find emotional intimacy easier. I used to struggle with that in the past and I've been to like therapy and stuff like that. I've also been to couples therapy and I've learned good ways to communicate with my partner. Emotionally I think it was easier too just because like I'm someone who's open so like I'm willing to open myself up and tell my significant other or the person that's with me to you know what's really going on but I think physical it's like it's also easy but because emotionally you really have to open up. But wouldn't that make it harder? I mean not for me. Okay. I've, I've been able to like do that so. I think both are really hard. I think it just comes down to the person, really. Like, if that person is really shallow, shallow, why should I be emotionally intimate with that person? Emotional is harder because it's not like you're gonna get along with everybody. Like, you can go somewhere and there's tons of attractive people everywhere. So I feel like physically you can be like, oh, he's hot, he's hot, you know what I mean? But emotional is harder because it's just like, yeah, you guys have to click, you have to feel that energy. I think it's just a harder skill, so. I have some ideas, but I feel like they're all saying the right things, and I feel like some of them are lying. <laughs> but I might have some idea, but I'm not entirely sure. Then I'm gonna have you eliminate three guys. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, it was a lot of fun. I'm gonna keep lying. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, Kenny, I'm sorry. It's okay, I'm emotionally he... unavailable. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Um, when he said that he wants someone to run around and be a menace with, that kind of ticked it off for me. Um, go with you. I'm sorry. Hey Jasmine, nice to see you again. Hi. Samir. Nice to see you Same again. Case. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. Thank you for letting me make it this far and picking me. Of course. All right, how are you? How are you? I feel like mm. I was important. I'm doing good. Yeah. Thank you for asking. Are you still nervous? No, I'm not as nervous anymore. You're good now? Mm hmm That's good. Are you in school? No, I graduated. Yeah, still in college. What are you studying? I'm doing accounting right now. It's very boring. You very like numbers? Boring. Yeah, it's like an ethnic little thing. Okay. Really all brown people good at math. <laughs> it's a little saying. Okay. Yeah. What was uh, your first impression like of me when you saw me? Or like, I guess, just this whole time? I think that you have great eyebrows. <sighs> oh, that's perfect, you know? Like, what are your interests? Did you said you graduated college? Yes. That's done. I work in fashion public relations. Oh, nice. So okay. I spend a lot of time looking at clothes and researching trends and that <laughs> kind of stuff. Outfit? You look fantastic. <laughs> Be honest. <laughs> you look amazing. Okay, all right, all right. Cool, appreciate it. I'm trying to get into cooking. I'm a big foodie, so like I love trying new restaurants and just getting together with friends and checking new spots out, but I'm trying to really hone in on my own talents and learn how to do that for myself. My dad's a chef, which you would think I would know how to cook really well, but it was more like my dad always cooked and my me dad never. My dad was a chef in the military. Oh, okay. And you would think I knew how to cook too. Yeah, it was <laughs> like I just got spoiled, but yeah. I'm trying to learn. Well, I love cooking. Okay. So if I were to make you something, what would you want me to make for you? Probably pasta. I feel like you can learn a lot about someone from how they make their pasta sauce. So I'm Italian. Oh. And Beautiful. my mom makes the best pasta sauce. I would say it's mine, but I stole my mom's recipe, but I made it my own. I make a really mean pasta dish. Perfect. Yeah. What's your plan after college? My plan after college is very unique. My main goal in life is like play basketball. Like, so like professionally? Yeah, professionally, yeah. In the summer, I'm gonna go back to Pakistan. Okay. And then play for their Olympic team, or at least sign paperwork for that. And then that would be really, really cool. Because that would, that's... you know, make my dream come true. Yeah, that's very exciting. Yeah. I hope you get that. You should definitely come out to a basketball game. It's In really Pakistan? fun. That'd be fun. <laughs> That'd be great. What are you passionate about? Oh, man. I'm getting a psychology degree. Um, and I want to get, like, my master's, too. I want to be a sports psychologist. So, like, okay. that's kind of, like, where my head's at with that. I love snowboarding, too. I've yeah. never done snow sports. Yeah. Isn't that scary? I, I could take you some time, though. We can learn together, right? What would you say is most important in a relationship? Communication. Yeah. The longer that you let something go without really talking it out and communicating it, just the worse it gets, and nothing ever gets solved if you're just pushing things aside and just kind of making light of them, so I think it's important to really keep an open line of communication. Yeah, I agree. Communication is up there, it's definitely like one of the like top five, but I'd say chemistry is the most important because there's a lot of things that you need chemistry in order to move past. Because I've been in relationships with really bad chemistry, and if you don't have chemistry, then your communication is going to be off, then like the vibe is going to be off, and it's just, it's just a mess. So. You've been in multiple relationships with bad chemistry. How did you fall into that? I feel like chemistry is kind of something that you can pick up on from the start. Yeah, it starts out good and then you start learning things about each other and then mistakes are made and then you start to find out that the chemistry isn't that. Because chemistry is something that you have to upkeep, like mm -hmm. it fluctuates. So you have to definitely work on it. And if you don't work on it, then, you know, it starts going down and then you start like falling out of love, I guess. I wouldn't say it's like immediate you start falling out of love, but it could get there if you don't work on it. So are you right. looking to settle down with a partner soon? <laughs> Um, no, definitely not. I mean, well, you know, um, it just kind of depends, obviously, as we were talking about earlier, you're looking for that right fit. Really, in the meantime, I've just been kind of focusing on being a better person, developing new skills as well. I picked up on hair cutting for the last, like, five years. Okay. So I started with my own hair, and then once I got decent enough with that, then, you know, kind of moved on to, you know, the friends and, you know, friends of friends. I, I do women's hair too, so, cool. you know, if, uh, you know, you ever need some sort of touch up or whatnot. a hairdresser. So. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't. I can, play with, her. I can play with your hair another time, don't worry, you know what I mean? <laughs> you said during the group that you think that emotional intimacy is easier, and th but the way you described it kind of made it sound harder. I know it's pretty odd, but just growing up in a household where it's very loving and very open, so where like you can say anything you want to your parents, to your brothers, and also I've been in a few relationships in the past where I like to open up and really get to know someone, because you, know, you don't want to waste time with people, and like time is 
very important to me. I just don't want to waste that. So yeah, that's how I feel about it. Okay, yeah. I like that. You mentioned that you do like to go out and it just kind of depends on what mood you're in. Do you think when you're in a relationship, it's important to always have your partner with you or included in those plans? Um, that's a good question. Honestly, no, I don't think that it's, I don't think it's important at all, only because that I want my partner to have their own space and I, like at, at certain times. And then I want there to be like a little bit of space too, because I feel like you can clutter each other so much mm -hmm. that it, you might get annoyed of each other or it's kind of like, wow, why, why can't I do this? Like there has to be some type of trust in a way. 20% of time, go with your friends, go do something. Like I don't want to be that person that gets in a relationship and cuts all their friends yeah, off and, and then it's like, yeah. yeah, it disappears. You know, I feel like that's very important, so. Yeah, what about you? Yeah, you I like feel like I'm the same way. I think that I need time with people outside of my relationship right. just to nurture those like friendships as well. I think it's really important to yeah. not have separate parts of your life, but just have the things that you had before you were in a relationship. Like yeah. it's important to nurture those friendships as well. Yeah, no, it is, it is. I'd love to know more about you. I feel like I just know about your emotional intelligence. What do you do or what do you like to do? I'm an IT on a submarine. I'm in the Navy. Okay. So <laughs> I like DIY stuff here and there, like hiking. Um, I love photography, like landscape photography and everything like that. I love theme parks. I love roller coasters. That's okay. like I love roller coasters. top tier. Like if I need something to like reset my mood, then I go to a theme park and like I'm just I'm good. So, so, so. All right. Thank you, Jasmine. Yeah, see you. Talk to you soon. All right. Have a good one. Thank you too. Okay. Where has this app been all my life? I'm not going on another date without asking for their relationship readiness score. You've got to get this app. Search for Nectar in the iOS app store or click the link in the description below. Do you have an idea of who you want to make your friend with? Um, kind of. I think I was really focusing on whose answers I thought felt genuine and whose answers I thought felt a little like convoluted, like trying to say what they thought I wanted to hear, so that was something that has gone into my decisions thus far. But was there one guy that you felt was genuine? Yes. Okay. Really? Um, I felt that your answers were very straightforward and I didn't think that you were telling me what I wanted to hear. I think that you were answering honest to yourself, which I really appreciated and I think that you're not an F boy. So you are my final decision. No, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> I feel like everything I said is actually true to myself, whether it's good or bad, like however it came off as. And Jasmine's very beautiful. So <laughs> I think that's uh, a win in my book for sure. Um, and hopefully it is for her too. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Are you ready to find out who is an F-boy and who is not? I'm ready. Do you think that you made the right choice? Yes, perhaps. You all took the relationship readiness test on the Nectar app. I gave you a number one through 10, uh, one being not ready at all for a relationship, and then 10 being super down for a relationship. Guys that score between a one and a three are considered the F boys, while guys who scored between four and six are a little more serious, but still kind of feeling things out, whereas guys who scored from seven to 10 Hi. Hello again. I'm Jake. I'm not an F boy. Hi. My name is AJ. No, I'm not an F boy. Okay. Hello. Hi. I'm Mateo. I am an F boy. I knew this. He lies. <laughs> Sometimes. Hello again. Hi. Hi. My name's Andy, and I am not an F boy. What's up, Jasmine? Hi. Hi, I'm Kenny. I am indeed an F-boy. Called that. Yeah. I am Tehran, and I am not an F-boy. Okay. Hi, Jasmine. Hi. I'm John, and I am not an F-boy. Okay. Hi again, Jasmine. Hi. I'm Samir. I am not an F-boy. Okay. I thought there would be so many more. Long time no see. My name is John, and I'm not the F-boy. Okay. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I know what's coming. Hey Jasmine. Hi. I am not in that oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> I thought these three were the ones that I called on like being the F boys and I mean I got two out of three. So I feel pretty proud of myself. I think he's a good one. Uh, in your application, you said 
I'm a good F boy because I'm sweet, but I definitely F. <laughs> <laughs> True. Okay, that's fair. Why do you think you score so well? A lot of the questions about how ready I am for a relationship, I was answering very low. But I didn't think I was like too much of an F boy. I thought there was definitely going to be people who were like scheming and like trying to do whatever. Would you still consider yourself an F boy? I'm not. I could be. I, I, okay, this is how I think about it. I have been in the past, and I choose not to do certain things to be the full F boy because I'm kind of past that now. So you actually had our highest readiness number. Yeah. It's been about a year since I was in a relationship, and I mean, I didn't mention it, but I was married for about a year. Now I'm divorced, but I was forced to learn so much in that marriage. All of that knowledge is instilled in me now and I know that I have a lot to give when it comes to relationships so it makes me excited to find that next person to give that to. Jasmine, I'm gonna review your score as well. Okay. Where do you think you fell? I'm gonna say it was like a six. Okay. Where do you guys think you fell? Seven. Six. Mm -hmm. Four. Six. Probably like three. <laughs> Two or three. <laughs> Jasmine, you are a seven. I knew. Uh, Jasmine, wow. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Knowing all this information, do you want to stick with your final pick? Or is there another person you kind of want to give a second chance to? I think I'm going to stick with my final pick. Are you going to Okay, we love this. <laughs> Alright, let me just hug it. I know, I'm like, I'm going to hug it. I'm like, I'm going to hug it. Go get married, you kid. Yeah, we're all invited, alright? any piece of advice for any girl looking to date but has an issue with F boys? Have them take the relationship readiness quiz. So normally I wouldn't do this, but I'm a musician and I just really would love to sing to you right now and just like show you how I feel. <laughs> Tell me that you love me. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> would that have changed your mind? I don't think so. <laughs> you can hear the whole thing, you can't say that for sure.